Hey guys, welcome to the channel um, and welcome back. In the last video, we finished drawing all the elements, the background, the star, uh, the flag, and the letters. Uh, and in this video, I like to get started animating. This is why you're learning Blender is to animate. So let's get started animating, guys. We're gonna look at this. Let me go ahead and select that rocket. And you can see the animation uh, keyframes. Uh, we also animated the stars. Uh, and they all they do is they come up from zero. They come up, boop, and then let me stop it. They just come up and kind of bounce into place, rotate and bounce into place. And then it's one, two, three, four, four, and then five. They all animate. Uh, and the rocket comes in from uh, from outside the frame into frame in about 30 frames. Not a big deal. And then you notice that it doesn't have any frames after frame 45, uh, but it keeps moving up and down. We're gonna cycle this this animation. We're gonna cycle and loop it all the way. Uh, till forever and then we animated the flag the flag has a wave modifier and we also animated the words coming in uh, being drawn in and they go from like frame 60 to about 120 from 60 to 120 uh, and the rocket is from frame 1 to about frame 30 and then it cycles all the way through rocket and then stars, and then words. All right, good. Hey guys, so if, you, if you're ready to start, let's go ahead and get started. Let me open up the file from the last time. Don't save. And this is the file that we uh, illustrated last time. We just did one, one star, but we're gonna duplicate it all, all over, uh, all across. And I remember that I we put a gradient on here and here, and we're not seeing this because we are in uh, solid shade mode. So let's go to rendered mode, and there it is. It looks a lot better. Let's go ahead. The first thing I'd like to do is parent. Right now, everything's separated. The body's separate. The window's separate. Uh, the flame is separate. Everything's separate. Undo, 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 undo. So I'd like to go ahead and parent all this. So I'm gonna select the window, hold command, select the flag, the fire, the fins, and the last thing I wanna select is the body. The body becomes the parent because it's the last thing selected. And parent objects keep transform. Boom. And now everything has been, except for the sketch, uh, but everything has been parented to that body. So that means if I hit that body, I select it, and I can move everything. Awesome. So at frame 30, uh, oh, remember, this is a dope sheet, and I, I want to use uh, a timeline. Since we're doing tweening animation, we're not doing frame by frame, we're doing tweening, so I'd like to Go ahead and, and get the timeline done. Go to frame 30 and hit the auto key button. And I am going to place it uh, right about the middle, right there. And that sets a keyframe at the end of the animation. So when it comes in, it's gonna come in and land right here. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna go to frame one. In fact, I can just hit this. And then take it back so that it's outside the frame. If I hit play, boom, it comes in. Easy, easy. That's it, we're animating. Uh, I'm, I am going to open up this window and reveal a graph editor instead of the dope sheet, graph editor. There's my graph editor. I'm going to open up the, the transformation properties for that rocket, and I am going to go to X 
location. And I'm going to turn everything off except for that X. This is the only thing we've animated from, uh, from here to here. So I'm going to hit the Home key. Home. And what I'd like to do is maybe bring, grab this handle and then just bring it back so that it, so that it um, slows down even further. And this one, what I'd like to do is bring it up like this so that it takes off quick and then slows down. Let's look at that. Oh, let me shorten it again to about, let's say 60. Hit the home key to zoom in on this home. There it is, and then go back all the way to the beginning and play. See how it starts off real quick and it slows down real, it eases in. It eases in. That's one of the 12 principles of animation, guy. Ease in and ease out. Let's cycle that little rotation. We're gonna rotate in the Y. And let's start at frame one. Let's start off here because it's gonna rotate. I mean, it's gonna cycle throughout the animation. So uh, what I'd like to do is put it here. And the we're going to do the Y rotation, this one. And we are going to rotate it in the Y. And what I'd like to do is maybe set a keyframe, move it over five frames, set another keyframe, and then move it over five frames and set the first keyframe like that. Although I am seeing, I'm going to hold shift, middle mouse button to move my timeline. I am seeing this one and I want to get rid of this one. I'm going to hit delete keyframe. So that I just have a little bump here. I want to um, line them up right there. Now that I've had this, make sure that you hit this. Um, make sure that you have selected the Y rotation and hit N, N as in Nancy, to get the modifiers. Boom, there they are. We're going to add a modifier and we're going to add a cycles modifier. Boom. And just as easy as that, we've got this modifier. And if I hit play, it seems a little, it seems a little fast. So what I'd like to do Check this out, guys. I'm going to select all of these keyframes and I am going to expand them. I'm going to hit S. I need to put my playhead here. Hit S to scale and then I'm going to expand them just a little bit and then I'm going to move them to where I had them, right there. Uh, and again, Shift. I'm going to select that one and bring it down. And so what happens? Let's play and see if I like it a little. Oh, that looks a lot better. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And that's it for the for the spaceship, guys. That is it. Now you see that little blinking. That's a glitch. And, and that is because the flame and the body are taking up the same space. So it's rotating who gets to be seen first. So if we select the body, we can move it in the Y this way a little bit and the flame that way a little bit and there we go and so now it's not doing that all right um, so that's that let's animate the star it's not selectable so let's go ahead and select it there go to object object set origin origin to geometry just to get that um, origin to the center of the star. Let's animate the star. Let's start at frame one, obviously. And we let's animate the scale. Let's say 10 frames. We're going to keep it here. So I am going to hit a keyframe I for the scale and hit a keyframe for the rotation. 
And so the rotation and the scale have been keyed. If I go back in time to the start of the animation, I can scale it down and then hit a keyframe also. I scale. And you can see that, hey, it, it is animating, but it's just a little boring. Um, and so here's one instance where I might not want ease in and ease out. Uh, here is my, I'm going to hit home to zoom in on, on that um, curve, open up its properties, and we've scaled the X, the Y, and the Z, all of them. So if we select all of them, uh, what I'd like to do is grab all of these grab the handles and manipulate them and then look push it up so that it goes up beyond and comes in Boop. you see that little bounce at the end this is what that does if you wanted a bigger bounce you could do this boink boink and that's exactly what we're going to do with the rotation all right let me let me hide that so that we could just concentrate. On the star. Boop, boop. All right, good. Let's uh, do the rotation. We have the star and we want to rotate it. This is the start. So let's hit I and let's keyframe the rotation. And to be honest, we only want one, and it should be at the Y, the Y rotation. <clears throat> and so I am just going to maybe do it once, like that, and see how that looks, what that looks like. I'm going to hit I, and it's the rotation. So we've got two keyframes. I'm going to hit Home here in the graph editor, Home. And that's the Y rotation. And let's look at it. That might be too much. Let's bring this one up. Let's bring it back, back up a little. There we go. I like that. And let's do the exact same thing as the scale. I'm going to push this beyond. See how it goes and comes back? It might be a little too much. There we go. And that's it. That's all I did for the star. Now the star is animated. And so let's animate the letters. Let's animate the letters. Uh, here we go. Let's animate. Uh, I'm not going to need the um, graph editor. Let's go to the beginning at 1. Let's uh, select this object. It's not selectable. Let's make it selectable. Select it. And I am going to hit uh, period to zoom in on it. This grease pencil object, we're going to add a modifier. And that modifier is the build modifier. You can see that it went away because it's drawing, it's building those letters. And again, let's push this to about 100 to let it... Now, I don't want it to start at frame one. And, I, and I, I'm going to hit the home key to zoom out here. And it takes about, ooh, about 100 frames. Uh, let's look at the modifier. Well, right now, we just know that it, it's already animated. Uh, and I believe I added another modifier. And that's the noise modifier and that noise modifier is here and I want to position a little less the scale right about there uh, let's see what that looks like there we go it's every four frames so let's do every every frame let's just speed it up a little maybe every two frames there we go and that's how I like it so this mod this modifier the noise modifier we did a very very little position 
the scale noise, we bumped it up to 0.5 and we stepped up the steps uh, to make it a little faster to every two frames. We hid the rocket. There it is. Oh, we need to animate the flag. We need to animate the flag. So let's go ahead and stop this for a minute. And let's select that flag and let's add a, an effect. And that effect is the wave distortion. Uh, and you have to have your view at rendered, otherwise you won't see this effect. Uh, in fact, if you have it here, you won't see it. If you have it here, you won't see it. It has to be, you have to be in rendered view to see it. So, amplitude is how big it is, and then we need to do horizontal, and then the period is how wide it is. And I think we'll do it to there. And then the phase, just where the phase is. I think we need, a mod uh, we need to animate the phase. So at frame zero, at frame one, it's animated to one. And at frame, let's say 100, let's uh, do this to... Let's do 50, and let's see what that looks like. It might be a little um, fast. And so at frame 100, let's bring it down to 40. And I noticed something else. This is one of the instances where, hit home, you do not want ease in and ease out. All you have to do is click on this curve, interpolate mode, and go to linear. That way it's constant, it's moving at a constant uh, pace. There we go. It even feels like the wave is, you know, being pushed by the rocket bouncing up and down. That is awesome, guys. So in the next video, we will put this whole thing together. We will add some drop shadows to uh, the letters. We'll add some glow to the stars. We'll put this whole thing together and then we'll be done. Hey guys, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, uh, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.